March investigator Mike Pearlstein revealed how an ankle monitor helped solve the city's first murder of 2024. Now a suspect is finally in custody. And tonight Mike shows how that electronic trail helped detectives find evidence that could have been lost forever. Eddie Rodriguez went missing on December 14th, but the fact that he was wearing an electronic ankle monitor for a pending drug charge quickly revealed something sinister. And it was because of him wearing an ankle monitor that they were able to quickly identify the suspect and then, you know, basically solve a murder. Matt Dennis is the owner of ASAP, Assured Supervision Accountability Program. When Rodriguez's ankle bracelet signaled a tamper alert, his team quickly tracked the defendant's last known location. Rodriguez's fiance immediately sensed foul play. I knew something happened to him. Like that was that was my biggest fear that I wouldn't hear from him again. Acting on the information from Rodriguez's loved ones and ASAP's electronic trail, New Orleans police pieced together enough evidence to call this a murder and identified Joseph McKinnis as the suspect. After months in hiding, McKinnis is now in custody and booked with second-degree murder. This arrest report shows how the electronic trail was instrumental in solving the case, even before Rodriguez's body was found New Year's Day behind a mattress next to a nearby vacant apartment. The electronic pings led to the house where McKinnis lived on Salem Drive, and in the driveway, a bloody footprint matching the suspect's boots. Without the teamwork that we've established with New Orleans police, this never gets solved. This bloody footprint washes away in the next rain. The report details additional evidence found by the detectives at the house. A pair of bloody scissors, a bolt cutter, and surveillance camera footage that recorded a single gunshot. Two weeks before we find this gentleman's body, we knew this gentleman had met a bad end. An NOPD had a suspect identified. Once detectives got access to Roderick's cell phone, they say they discovered another key piece of evidence using McKinnis' nickname Greedy, a text from Roderick that he had pulled up to McKinnis' house. Roderick's ankle bracelet was found in a nearby dumpster, leading to yet another charge lodged against McKinnis, tampering with electronic monitoring equipment. Originally written to deter defendants from tampering with their own ankle bracelets, this case appears to be the first time the law has been used against another person. This wouldn't be something you would say, hey, I want to pass a law in the event some guy kills somebody and cuts his monitor off. It's, but it's a fitting use of the law. Motive remains a mystery because Roderick and McKinnis were reported to be longtime friends. But the arrest paperwork provides one fuzzy clue. Shortly before the final fatal gunshot, Roderick and an unknown passenger drive to an ATM and withdraw cash. That money has never been accounted for. Mike Perlstein, WWL, Louisiana. McKinnis is being held on a bail of $1 million for the murder charge, $250,000 for obstruction of justice, and an additional $50,000 on the electronic tampering charge.